everyone. We're going to be creating these really fun art paintings today. You can either use canvas, a rock from your garden, or a piece of cardboard. We're going to be showing you how you can do it on a piece of cardboard. So let's get started. So for this project you're going to need an assorted color of paints, including one white paint. You're going to need an X-Acto knife or scissors to cut your cardboard if that's what you're using. You're going to need a paintbrush, some markers including colored markers and a black marker, and you're also going to need a piece of chalk as well too, and it can be any color that you choose. Your first step is going to be cutting down your cardboard to the size that you would like it to be. Your next step is going to be taking your paintbrush and your white paint and covering one side of the cardboard with the white paint and letting it dry. Next you're going to be using your other colors that you've chosen. Here we're using a plastic container lid to hold the colors and we're going to be using our paintbrush again. We're going to use the colors and get creative with how we place them on top of our white paint. Once you're done, you're going to let it dry. Next, you're going to take your colored chalk that you've chosen and you're going to draw a shape onto your cardboard. For this project, we're going to be doing a heart shape but you can do any shape that you choose. We're going to go back and take our paint again with our paintbrush and this time we're going to use the white paint. But what we're going to do is when we dip our paintbrush into the white paint, we're also going to dip it in some water as well too so that the paint isn't so thick. So make sure you have a water container nearby. Then what we're going to do is we're going to paint on the outside of the chalk outline. You're going to do one layer let it dry and then a second layer and let it dry. The reason you don't want the paint too thick is you want the colors from the background to show through. Our next step is going to be taking our markers. So here we have a colored marker and we also have a black marker. And here again you can get as creative as you like. You can draw patterns, shapes, lines onto your piece. And you're done! Congratulations! Now you've created a beautiful piece of artwork made by you. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to leave a comment below, please do so and let us know what you thought about it. If you have any suggestions for fun art projects that you'd like us to do, please feel free to reach out to us either on our Facebook, our Instagram, or our Twitter. Or you can send, a, send us a message through our website at www.ladysmitharts.ca.